As if my own high school years weren't depressing enough, I will now have to go through all of that again, but in a video game. If this expansion is anything like my own experience, it will be about bullying, teasing, a mediocre prom, and oh yeah, more bullying. But <laughs> let's not jinx our sims life and let's hope for the best for her. By her, I mean this absolute beauty. Let me introduce to you Lorena York, the drama llama of Sims High School. Totally relatable. Super outgoing. I mean, she needs to get her drama somewhere. And of course, a tad bit awkward. Or a lot. I guess we'll leave that to her. Without further ado though, join me and let's experience The Sims 4 high school years together. First things first, we have to move into our new neighborhood called Copperdale. We, of course, pick the cheapest house and now we hope and pray that the interior design doesn't fully suck. And it does. Give me like two seconds. <laughs> two hours later. All right, I think that's a lot better. Now it just perfectly screams, I'm in the middle of puberty, but I need my aesthetic to be on point. Also, I am only now realizing that I'm in high school. Yeah, I decided to make my sim live alone. Let's just say her parents are out getting milk. Don't call the authorities on me, please. <laughs> Let's not give our girly any slack and immediately start the grind. Do your homework. I'm not sure which homework, seeing you haven't even technically stepped foot in the school yet. Write about your favorite animal or something. <laughs> After school activities, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, I would love to be one of those cool girls and do cheerleading, but seeing that I'm the drama queen of the school, I should probably pursue that. But I'm um, also poor. Sorry, let's find a job. Obviously, I would love to work in Maccas or be a streamer, but we need to find something that doesn't clash with the school hours. Oh, a simfluencer? I can just look pretty, cause drama, and make money? Perfect. I can't do birth, but I wanted her to have a burnout, just like I did in high school. Well, I'm poor, so the choice is obvious. Wow, she's dedicated to the grind. Wait. Or maybe she's just trying to live her your name fanfiction fantasy by reading in front of her two guests. They added a social media app. It may give me crippling anxiety and depression, especially because I'm in puberty, but worth it, right? Let's make a post about our homework. And of course we have to like it ourselves. <laughs> I really do not want to erupt that very in-depth conversation you two seem to be having about coffee. But <laughs> it looks like your food is burning. And uh, to be honest, you really cannot financially afford to burn down your whole house right now. Maybe the no parents thing was a bad idea. All right, it's time to sleep because we have to be refreshed for our very first day of high school tomorrow. I don't know why I sound excited. Wait, what is this? I get body hair? Oh no, oh no, we gotta get rid of that. At least I guess she wants to get rid of it. She's shaving, let's hope she doesn't cut herself. I don't want any blood anywhere. Ow. No, we're not doing that. I just wanted her to have a nice breakfast, <laughs> but for some reason, she is already Ow. having her first mental breakdown. So this is off to such a good start. <laughs> I am also not sure why she decided to go eat outside. Teenagers are weird. Of course, we cannot go to school without packing lunch. I am currently obviously not drowning in money, so I will be bringing my own food to school and just hope and pray that I don't get bullied. I mean, come on. Look at how happy she looks with her lunch bag. And here we are. We finally made it to Copperdale High School and it seems like we even have a daily agenda. We now have two hours of free time 
and I guess we have to meet up with the principal. And we made it to the principal's office. I guess I have to learn some things about the school from her. But it does really seem like she cares about me being there. She's kind of just on the computer playing video games. She's literally destroying whole cities with explosions while running a school. It's time for our first class of the day and everyone looks kind of confused and even a bit upset. <laughs> And then there's just me. No thoughts behind those eyes. Just clouds. And of course, the grind never stops and we have to take a selfie of our first class here in high school for our very first and only follower. Woo, let's get the bread. It is finally lunchtime, and as you know, I brought my own food from home with me. So let's just sit here and eat my PB&J sandwich. To be quite honest, I can totally relate to that person behind me with a paper bag on their hat. I, I genuinely wish I could have done that in high school. <laughs> just escape. It is almost time for the second class of the day, but I'm gonna be honest, I really had to pee. So we had to do what we had to do and we had to use the toilet. So now we have to, what? Why is she, is she not washing her? Why is she not washing her hands? She really went all the way upstairs to wash her hands instead of just doing it and then going to class. Am I gonna be late? I feel like I'm gonna be like slightly late to class. Wait, where's she going? Oh no! Oh, no. oh we're getting scolded. We got caught on our first day of school. We got caught being late to class just because I had to pee. The reality of this, I was literally the one kid in school that always had to pee. And now it's haunted me to virtual high school. I'm getting detention on my first day of school. I've never been in detention. This is terrible. Oh, I'm so sad. All right, whatever. It's time for detention. And for some reason, the principal is cut. Is that legal? That's the student and the principal. That seems a bit weird. Are they mother and daughter? But they don't really look like mother and daughter. Okay, whatever. I'm just serving my detention. I'm not quite sure why she's not sitting down. You, you can sit. Girl, you can sit. Nope. She's just enjoying her time in detention while standing upright. That, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, more power to you. And of course, we, we got to take a selfie. We have to take a selfie. Okay, after such a long day of school, it is absolutely time for me to just go straight to bed. But of course, we cannot forget about her homework, so we have to make her do homework because there is no way that I'm slacking in school. It's almost time for school already. I don't think I'll have time. I, I just, I literally just got home from school. I went to sleep. I'm trying to do my homework and now I don't even have time to finish my homework in time for school. This is just, this is just incredible. How, how do people do it? And I, I still haven't made money. I'm losing money every day. I just, I can't work. I don't have parents. I mean, that's on me. Wow. All right, another day of school is done. I seemed inattentive. Okay, well, I didn't sleep well. Wait, what was that? Prom is coming. Ooh, a prom proposal sign. Ask someone out and prepare a formal outfit. I'm ready. I'm so ready for that. All right, I think it's time for me to head off. What? Holy, what the? They're fighting. There's a fight, 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 fight. I mean, I'm taking out my food. I'm ready to take selfies here. What? What is going on here? Why are they fighting? I didn't see this coming. I was like, look at, what? Even the principals, they're like cheering them on. Even the teachers, we're all here. <laughs> oh my God, we, we love sensationalism. Look at us go. We're all just staring, no one's interfering. 
while just looking at them literally fight it out. This is so bad. The principal should step in on this. Why is this hilarious? My face says it all. Yes, I am shook. I mean, I'm just glad that it's not me, to be quite honest. I am just happy that I'm not in the middle of this. The fight seems to be over. And I think we all know who it was. Everyone's thinking about the blonde girl. <laughs> She's the culprit. It's a new day and I guess it's time to take an exam. I'm a bit scared. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Should I not have a book out or at least a pen? It looks like I am just not, like, participating. I'm looking out the window. I don't think this is how you take an exam. Look, everyone had books out except for me. Anyways, we have way more important things to do, aka make a promposal sign for literally someone. I don't even know who I want to invite to prom yet. I haven't found a single, like, cutie yet. Wait, that guy's cut? He's a teacher. Dang it! Wait, can I invite a teacher? I'm just gonna introduce myself. Maybe I can get a prom with the teacher. That sounds illegal. All right, it's love day too, so let's just celebrate love day together. This is so cringe. This is so awkward. I should not be doing this, but wait. I don't see the option. Oh, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can invite him. Dang it! I really wanted to just make a baller move and go to prom with one of the teachers. That would have been great. We have to find someone new. A difficult problem. Okay, so this is the second exam of the day. Uh, I don't think I can like rely on my writing skill because I don't think I've done that yet. I don't think I've like done it. So we have to wing it and hope for the best. Uh, <gasps> yes! Okay, oh, we did good. Okay, easy. Easy peasy. Winging it just like I always did in high school anyway, so. Ooh, the report's there. <gasps> we did a great job! Oh my god, look at that! Just winging it works every time. <laughs> but now it's time for us to concentrate on prom and find a cutie. What about these guys? No. No. Ooh, Sydney. What about him? Seeing that I currently live in Australia, this would actually work. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna be super nice to him. And then just hope for the best when we propose to him with a promposal sign. I mean, come on, the sign's pretty great. Let's be honest. Yadras. Uh -huh. <gasps> Wait, she's doing it. She's doing it. <gasps> Please. Oh my god, wait. I think he's saying yes. I think he's saying yes. <gasps> he did say yes. We found our prom date. Look at how excited she is. Confetti. He's also excited. We found our prom date. And she's having another mental breakdown. Life of a teenager. Puberty is rough. It's been a long week in school, but she has done it. There were a couple of mental breakdowns, but all in all, she's done it. She is mega uncomfortable asking for help. Her arm hair is just growing. Things are working, but I don't know if they're working well or not. In the next video, we will do all the prom preparations and get ready with a formal outfit, of course, to then head to prom and just hope and pray and wish that it's not a full disaster. So if you guys are excited and are ready for that chapter of Lorena's life, then make sure to tune in next time. For now, this is it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to, of course, leave a like. Lorena really needs it. She, she is desperate, to say the least. As I said, for now, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!